It's 5 a.m. in the morning, and I've intentionally gotten myself lost in the forest of the Pacific Northwest to test what I've been told is the ultimate in survival technology. So, approximately 30 days ago, I was contacted repeatedly by a company from China that wanted me to test their ultimate survival kit. Normally, I don't pay any attention to these type of things. I, I, get, I get them all the time and I just disregard them. But they were very persistent and wanted me to understand that their, the, the time and effort, the countless hours they had spent on developing this ultimate kit, everything that a man would need to survive in the wilderness in this tiny little case. Well, I relented and said, well, who am I not to give it a try? Something that could benefit so many people and even save lives. All right, well, I'm thoroughly lost now. I haven't been in the kit yet, so let's pull it out and see if we can get out of this predicament. I've brought my Russian elk hound with me just in case I run into trouble. All right, go on our razor, go get him. Okay, so the first thing in a survival situation is we need to take inventory of what we have here. And I was told by OSIS that they had provided the means for me to be found by search parties and aircraft. So the first thing we want to do is to, to I guess, help arrange our rescue. Chem light. Hello! Can anyone see me? Hello! So I was unable to affect my rescue with a chem light. If I only had a compass. Oh, perfect. So knowing that I walked in a northerly position from my truck, I can simply get back by following my compass. Wait a minute, why is it leaking? Oh no. So with no way to signal rescue aircraft and my compass out of service, I'm gonna have to figure out another way to notify my potential rescuers of my dire situation. And this just might be the thing, a rescue whistle. So the first rule in a survival situation like this is to make sure that you stay put. Don't wander around, let your rescuers come to you. The good thing about this kit is I've got this whistle and the, that the rescuers will be able to hear me from miles around. I just have to sit here, sit tight and keep blowing it. All right, so with the tools needed to contact potential rescuers, rescuers no longer available to me, uh, that leaves me with only one choice but to shelter in place. Now I was told I wouldn't need a knife or anything, that everything that I needed would be provided for me in the OSIS survival, ultimate survival kit. And so, well, let's get started. So one of the first things we need to consider in a situation like this is to provide shelter. We don't want to get caught without protection when the night comes and succumb to exposure. So we'll go about getting some shelter built. I'm a good quarter of an inch into this small sapling. Yeah, I think this, this, is, this isn't gonna work. Let's see what else we can find in the kit. Many folks at this point would start to get concerned or worried, but I'm not, knowing that I'm in the hands of China's best and brightest engineers of renown. I know that they will have provided the things that I need to survive in this wilderness expedition. 
And I was right. Just what I needed. A cable saw. I knew I could count on the Osa survival kit not to let me down. Now this cable saw here will make short work of the sapling and I can get to my shelter building. I seem to run into a snag. Oh no! My cable saw! Where did it go? Oh, heart racer. What are we going to do now? Right, so the shelter's not gonna work out. My cable saw broke, and I can't find the rem remnants of it anywhere. It's lost somewhere in the leaves. So, the next thing we're gonna need is a fire. And it looks like they've included the finest of British style, British lifeboat style matches. We'll have to be very careful with these and make each one count. So without a question, one of the most important parts of a survival kit is a good set of high quality matches like this. Now we just need to find a suitable rock to strike them against. Perfect. I've got to tell you how comforting it is, because every time panic starts to set in, I just think back on my OSA survival kit and it puts my fears to rest. So we'll have a whole fire going here before you can say Jack Robinson. You gotta be sparing with your matches because each one counts. So all the attempts to light my OSA survival matches have failed and I'm down to my last one. I need to make this one count. All right, here we go, guys. <sighs> so with no ability to signal my rescuers, to build a shelter, or to start a fire, I'm gonna have to dig deep into my kit to see what options are left to me. Is that a comb? Osis, your survival kit sucks. Mm -hmm.